Hey guys, I realized that introduction was a little bit different, but believe me, it was a lot of fun making it. And interestingly enough, my 10 year old daughter actually helped me film that scene. And we had a lot of fun working together and she was really excited to do it. And she's learning a lot, I'm learning a lot, and we look forward to doing more in the future. Today, we'll be heading over to the Fort Lauderdale International Airport uh, to meet our lap nanny to pick up our brand new party Yorkie. We're super excited to have her and we're gonna bring you guys along with us, okay? Let's go. What time does he arrive? 1.33. And to where? United uh, Gate C3. So what do you think about getting a new puppy? I'm very excited. Are you? What are you going to do when you see him? I'm going to her. squeeze her. It's a her? You're going to squeeze her? Yeah. Hmm. Squeeze her with kisses. It's a lot of Have we figured out a name yet? Uh, yeah, Caroline. Uh, Caroline. Yeah. Uh, there's it no. It starts with a C. Yeah, it starts with a C, but so does Cunningless. So does Crow. Ooh, I think I was supposed to say that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bleep that one. So she's gonna have a C name that represents a place. It could be a city, a state, a country. Colorado. Who? Carolina. Carolina. You said. I think she was Colorado. 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 Yeah, we can make our own. Cincinnati. Excited. Excited, yes. But do you think Cincinnati, Cincinnati sounds feminine? Cincinnati doesn't start with a C? No. I don't think Chicago does either. Uh, really? Chicago definitely starts with a C. <laughs> oh my god. No, I, Cincinnati. I mean it doesn't sound feminine. I wasn't listening to the starting. Does Chicago so so sound like it starts with a C? Yes, no. but it doesn't sound feminine is what I was saying. No, this you said it doesn't start with a C. No. Uh, you and I were on a different conversation than you and her. You and I were on it sounding feminine. You and her were talking about something else. We were talking about something else. Yes. What were we talking about, Dalen? We were talking about um, starting with a C. Starting with starting with a C. Right. We were talking about feminine. Hmm. So we were talking about feminine. I don't remember. That. She's very interesting. This one, and she can't drive. I can drive. <laughs> All right, so you had a question? Yes, question. I did. My question is, what, are you, what do you think is a good name for a dog? Why are you asking like you're on camera? Just ask it normally. Because that's how you sound when you're no. filming. Like, what's up guys, it's Ty. Yeah. But that's when I'm actually doing a, a tutorial. This is just, we're <laughs> filming, we're going to pick up a puppy. We're, we're not going to pick up a puppy now. Film at 11. <laughs> All right. So ask your question like a normal person. Film it too. Tell what do you me. think is a good name for puppy? So I still like Chicago. I, I think Chicago can be uni, unisex. Shy Town's very own. Like um, I had an idea for Shy Denver. Uh, d my darling Denver. Which sounds feminine, my darling. No, a man could be a darling. Community. Yeah, community is a place technically, but you're weird. <laughs> I, it's on the sign. So, what's the name of our uh, lap nanny? 
David. Okay, David's a lap nanny? Yes. What's that? So we don't we don't put dogs in containers and ship no. them in the bottom of planes. What we do we is uh, we hire someone to take Mom. care of them, right? So they put the dog in a pet carrier and then they fly the puppy to whatever city, state, country and uh, hand deliver the puppy to the people. Uh, Dave is the lap nanny that we're using here um, now, right? And we've used him in the past? Yes, he's um, nanny for the puppies in California. For Triscuit in California. Oh, okay. So he nannied for the, both puppies in Cali? No, Jim and she came for him. Oh, first. Jim and she did come and we had mm -hmm. lunch with her. That was really mm -hmm. cool. This yeah. trip is easy. Okay. Yeah. Because nobody wants to come to Florida. <laughs> no. You can't blame them, So, right? I mean, I got a whole row in business class. Oh, nice. So, you had the room. It's easy because I could, it's right. easier to take the dog out and check. Right. And check and okay. Check. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, yeah for sure. Baby. And you as well. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> take care. Right. Enjoy your few hours off. <laughs> <laughs> send me with half the stuff she wanted to because he can't really carry a lot. Hey. I'm gonna hand her back. What do you think, Dylan? What do I think? I think she's gorgeous. I think I might marry her. Yeah, I think that's illegal in the United States. What? Jeez. Okay, which way? That way and then into the um, right? It's just exit that way? Exit that way? Yeah. See, that's what she said. I think her name should be Colorado. Denver, Colorado? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like Colorado. This one had a deposit. She's charting bigger than the lady wanted. So she's like, but she's charting breeding size about seven to eight pounds. Callie was starting to turn silver very early on mm -hmm. in her back. Dublin never, that back color never changed. Like Triscuit, and, yeah. never Triscuit changed. And, what a, what, and Jackson, Jackson, never changed. Right, it just stayed a rich, mm -hmm. deep black. But again, but the face it's a genetic all lightened traits. Up. Yeah, standard Yorkies are born uh, almost all black. Right. You know, with, with some tan some points. Some silver, some, right. some, you know. Yeah, as they mature, the, the hair color definitely changes. What did you think of the new puppy when you first saw her? I was in love. She was just so adorable. I think she has great colors. I think she's going to bring a lot of that darker color into our program. She was so fluffy the first time I held her. Held her. Um, she has a lot of hair, which is good. She's very fluffy. I think she's gonna make a great addition to our our crew. I think that Mr. David was actually very nice, and you could tell that he was very safe with the whole COVID thing, wearing a mask. Yes, I do better understand lap names. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed that video as much as we enjoyed making it. That Dalen is an absolute trip and she kept me laughing the entire time in the car. I unfortunately, I had to cut a lot of that video footage out, but we had a great time and it was a much shorter trip than it could have been had she not been with us. At the top of the video, we mentioned that we would share the name of our new puppy and we were able to come up with a unanimous decision in terms of the name. So without any further ado, I'd like to introduce you to the newest Sunshine Party Yorkies family member and her name is Cypress. Say hi, Cypress. 
Give Cypress a like. Comment down below if you have any ideas of what you might have named her. We thank you guys for coming. We hope you'll like this video, share it, and most importantly, subscribe and follow along with us for this Sunshine Party Yorkies journey. Thanks a lot.